Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic. I'm Barry P. Cook. I'm here to talk to you about the latest episode of Superman and Lois. It was called The Girl You'll Be a Woman Soon. And it starts in 1979, where we see that a girl is being offered her inheritance after her folks have died, but only if she takes possession of a seemingly cursed pendant and finishes her dad's life works. And it turns out that this girl is Allie. Lois and Clark are having a conversation about everything that's been going on and she uses the word bizarro as an adjective so they've kind of been doing that and she does it again so that's there we find out that john is still recovering from his injuries and that sarah's quinceanera is at hand and apparently it's being held at the kent barn superman then visits tag in the hospital and learns that the pendant he got off bizarro is with the general jordan and jonathan meet up with general lane for jordan's training and before the first commercial break, we get a look at Bizarro, who has his sights set on somebody, though I don't know who it is. Then after the commercial, Superman asks the general for the pendant so he can track Bizarro, but the general refuses to turn it over. Lois's newspaper partner, partner goes to meet with Allie and Allie drugs her. Lois then goes looking for someone named Dr. Faulkner and she finds her quite dead, quite dead, and runs into Bizarro at the scene who takes off when he sees her. Then we see that Lois's friend is waking up and she says she experienced being another version of herself, which she also described as bizarro, just before both Superman and Lois show up to let Allie know that she might be in danger, which is followed by bizarro flying in and knocking into Superman and flying through a wall with him just after Superman pushed Allie out of the way. Superman and bizarro then have this epic fight in the middle of an abandoned warehouse it looked like apparently i guess we knew this before but i wasn't i wasn't i didn't really get it but now i i it was hard not to get it in this episode bizarro breathes fire the way superman breathes cold and he shoots ice beams from his eyes the way superman shoots lasers from his eyes which makes sense of course because bizarro is like backwards superman and it was just really cool to see him like breathe fire like at superman it was a really epic, cool fight. This show has some really great special effects and you know fight scenes that you don't really see on the other CW shows. We've known this since the beginning, but it, it just was on display again in this episode. Superman does manage to subdue Bizarro after giving him a beatdown while holding some kind of a yellow crystal. I wasn't clear on what that was. And then he takes him to the fortress where the hologram of his mother is apparently going to study him. At the quinceanera, we learned that Kyle had at one point been messing around with a chick from his bar, the bar that we see him go to when he's told by the mayor that he's looking into his past. And he was married at the time, apparently. And she shows up to tell him that she thinks another friend of theirs sold him out to the mayor. And Sarah and Jordan are outside in the area and they hear the whole conversation. So now, Sarah knows that her father cheated on, on her mother. The mayor actually shows up at the quinceanera, I guess because he was invited, and he behaves slimily, of course, you know, as his usual, uh, as is his usual way. Sarah then breaks down while trying to have the father-daughter dance with her dad, and she confronts him about his affair in front of Lana. Lana then gives a big speech about how great Sarah is, and there's a very warm, huggy moment between them. Clark is called away from the party to the Fortress of Solitude by his mother's hologram because Bizarro has woken up and when he arrives there we see Bizarro locked down in a containment field which is very similar to the one that was used in Superman the movie to contain Zod and his pals before they are sent to the Phantom Zone so I thought that was a very cool reference and we found out that Clark's mom the, you know, the hologram has figured out a way to make it so that we can understand Bizarro because he, he was talking backwards, but now we can understand him. And he tells Superman that he should have killed him. And when Superman's mother asks him why he's there, he says to save his world and Earth, which he says can only be done by killing Allie. So we don't know what that's about, but we now kind of know why he's there and what he's up to. We don't know what his world is is, I mean, we kind of do what we don't know in the Arrowverse, really. So that's where the episode ended. I thought that was good stuff in this episode. The fight was great. 
we're learning a little bit more about Bizarro. There's a connection to Ali and the pendant and all of that. I didn't really, you know, again, this episode had too much of the Lana family. Like, believe me, I don't mind looking at her at all, Lana. She's gorgeous. So it's great when she's on screen, but like, I don't care that Sarah's becoming a woman. I, I don't care. I don't care. And way too much of this episode had nothing to do with Superman and Lois. Like, why? It wouldn't even necessarily, I've said this a million times, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad show if they made a show about the Lana family. Make the show. I might even watch it. It's not bad stuff, but it detracts from the super stuff. Like, I don't, I don't care about that in my Superman show. I want to see Superman stuff. So it was an okay episode. We'll see where next week takes us. I think Tyler, the actor that plays Superman, is doing a great job as a bizarro. You forget it's the same actor. I'm assuming it is. Whoever it is is in makeup. I'm assuming it's also him. So he's doing a great job. You know, there are worse shows. There are worse shows in the CW universe. So whatever. I just think it has too much Lana family. Too much with the kids. But there you go. Anyway, that's my review. I'll be back with a review of the next episode after it airs. Until then, I wish you peace and long life.